Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is your general love reading. I'll try to keep as many details as possible, but keep in mind that because this is a general reading, this may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does resonate, there's an extended as well at the end of this reading. If you want to support the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's continue. Two more shuffles. The last one. I want to view about the current energies. I think there will be progress for you. There will be some advancement, success. You're entering a new phase. There's a new chapter being opened here. A new book probably being created. There's luck. Uh, there's a, a faded event. This seems like very good energy, in fact. Or you may want to travel, and during this traveling you may meet somebody, and this is faded. I have Cancer here, but I have fixed signs as well, so Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. But what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment of time? I see you having this disappointment about the past story. Maybe you invested more time than needed there, or you were heavily invested emotionally, but you didn't get much in return. And now you think, maybe this is over, and probably I wasted my time too long here, hoping and having some false hopes, probably. False hopes, that's the words I'm getting here with that seven of pentacles. Now let's see about what was the main challenge in the past. This person may have just wanted friendship, they may have felt alone, they wanted attention. That is the first scenario I'm getting. But that is the reason why it didn't grow to something stronger. It was just that the friendship, at least from the perspective of one person, despite what they may have told, they may have wanted friendship, they may have felt alone at that moment, or they only saw friendship there. They may even have tried, this is the best case scenario, they may have tried to do something, but they couldn't, they couldn't... Uh, feel something else. How do you view this situation? It's quite heavy, it was dramatic, and you think you, you did the most job or work there to keep this connection together, collect it and move forward, but because it needs to, to tango, that's why it didn't work or it was so heavy on you. You thought that you'd save this, but you couldn't. You needed their cooperation. You needed their love and interest as well. You still see this as problematic or dramatic as a relationship. And you think that if you tried again, it would be just that last drop that would throw that cup. Now let's see more details. Your focus is a new beginning, a new passionate one. You don't only want something serious, but you want that desire, that real, those real feelings and the intensity of being in love again. You want to be happy again. You want a new beginning. Look at this. Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Sun. You want all that and you want to avoid inconsistencies as well. So somehow you may have some fears that, okay, if this new connection starts passionately as and it is intensive, is it too good to be true? You may fear that maybe they will cool down and may not be that interested or may have not that attraction anymore. That is some fear I'm getting there. And... About a past person, 
you may think that they are very upset with you, that they may have cut off the connection completely, they are still angry probably. You have hopes about a new beginning in love, but you fear giving chances or expressing your love and attention and attraction to somebody that may not reciprocate it, that may be very cold and detached. Now, let's see, what is the good thing coming towards you? The good thing is that you will be much more happier. Now you may feel a, a bit unsure, insecure, confused, uh, feeling like you are not having luck in love. But there's a new beginning here happening. And I think either somebody is watching you or you are watching somebody because you have interest and you want to talk to this person. You will not be that anxious and stressed anymore. And I think the solution is a new beginning, something new, completely new here. This will heal you totally, especially this will make you gradually more vulnerable and trusting more in love. Now let's see about this past person. Let's see about their energies right now towards you. Let's see what's up with them. Okay, eight of wands. They are thinking a lot about something. Something is bothering them. They want to meet and talk to you. But probably they haven't decided yet. Why do they want to meet and talk to you? Why do they want to do that? Because they are on the verge of making a final decision here about the past situation with you. They are at this position of wanting to stay a little bit longer and hoping that things will get healed and repaired and saved by time as time passes or they want to get that clarity and to see and look at your eyes and know the truth if they still have any chance there or not so they want to have that clarity for themselves if they should keep waiting or hoping now, if this reading resonated with you and if you want to know more details about this person that is on your mind, I want to view more about their energies, their feelings, how do they view you, their intentions as well. Let's get a clearer picture and let's uh, see the whole uh, aspects of this reading. So if interested, the extended video is in the description box below or at the side of this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to help the channel, you can like, and subscribe as well it helps to reach more people at the same time that is uh, i'm very grateful for that so thank you for watching again see you the next reading and bye for now